Hi everybody, this is Kim. I'm back again with another video. I would like to say welcome everyone. Welcome all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who've been rocking and rolling with yo girl from day one or if you've been here for a while thank you for always coming back and checking my videos out i really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you also don't forget to watch my entire video thumbs up and leave comments all those things really do help okay let's get this video started today we're going to talk about yes pomegranate lemonade yes 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 the notes in this candle is juicy pomegranate zest lemon and sugar crystals amazing and then also y'all yeah, just a little just a little extra cause y'all y'all already know okay wait a minute not sure what my camera is doing, but it's acting a little crazy. But because y'all know I'm somewhat extra, I had to make me a drink. This is a pomegranate lemonade drink. And also, this glass is from Aldi's. It's the name of this glass is called Cabana Pineapple Sipper. That's the name of this glass the sipper or whatever they call it and then i just made some pomegranate lemonade juice to go inside yummy let's get into this video i actually got two candles sitting here because y'all already know um bath and body works messed my order up they sent me someone else's order and the order came with two of these candles um, I did get my order, which had one candle. So I have a total of three of these candles. Sorry. Okay, this is the one I lit. As you see, it comes with the white wax. No mushrooming, as you see on the wicks. This candle is actually burning really, really good. Really good. And um, let's see if I can get the true color of the jar. I don't know how it's coming. I guess I'll see that in the editing. If it's showing the actual true color of the mug, of the mug, of the jar. <laughs> because online, this jar appears to be light. That's what I thought. When I first got this candle or when I ordered it and seen it online, I thought the jar was more on the pink side, but it's actually more on the purple side. It's like a purplish pink. Um, Yeah. But... As you see, it's a matte jar. It looks like the jar is painted. And this is from the White Barn um, collection. 14.5 fluid ounce um, candle. We all know all the Bath and Body Works three wood candles is 14.5 ounces. So, yeah. And from my understanding, this candle came out a couple of years ago. I think it's been out two times before now, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, yeah. I'm not sure why this is an online exclusive, I believe. Yes, this is an online exclusive. I'm not sure why because this candle is amazing. I really, really, really like this candle. And I actually think I'm going to get a couple of more because, you know, most of the time online exclusives don't come back. I'm not sure why, but this candle was nice. Um, the throw is amazing. Sorry about the birds. The throw is amazing. Didn't have any issues. Didn't have any issues with the wick. With the wicks, as you see. I have not cut these wicks yet. I normally cut them like right before I light the candle. And this is after a burn, as you see. I'm sorry, y'all. That bird is doing the most. That bird is acting very extra today. <laughs> but as you see, the wicks on it, very little mushrooming. Very little mushrooming. And this candle, I think I've lit this candle like three times. Maybe four. 
I know I put it under the warmer. Amazing. It did amazing under the warmer. And then I think I lit it twice. So, yeah, as you could, I don't know if y'all could see that or not. Spout to here. Um, no issues at all. Like I said, the throw is probably about a seven or eight. Um, it's not like a super, super strong. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a super, super strong candle, but it is a nice throw. I'm not 100% sure about the true scent, scent of pomegranate. But to me, when I first smelled this candle, the, my very first thought was it smelled like cleaning solution. It just did. But after smelling it a couple of times, it started smelling like like a sweet tart, like the chewy grape sweet tart tarts for some reason, or the Alexander the grape candy. But I like it. I like this candle. I like it. And I'm sure on your first sniff, you're probably going to say it does smell like cleaning solution. It do. But the more and more you smell it, you get that really sweet, uh, really? This bird want to be in the video. Okay. <laughs> Yes, um, when you first smell this candle, you most definitely going to say that it smells like cleaning solution. But to me, the more you smell it, the more sweeter it gets. It's almost like candy. I'm telling you, this to me, and I know everybody's going to say something different about this candle. But to me, it most definitely get that sugar, sweet tart scent from this candle. Um... That's the reason why I brought two of them, just so I could get that burst of scent. I can't necessarily um, smell like if it's just lemon or if it's just the pomegranate. Neither no kind of stick out to me, but I most definitely smell that sugar. This is most definitely a sweet candle. And if you ain't the type that you like sugary candles or really sweet candles, you probably won't like this one because it is sweet. I like it. I really, really like this candle. Yeah, as far as juicy pomegranate or zest lemons, I do smell like lemonade. I do smell the lemons. I just actually think that this candle is just a perfect blend to me. I really do. I think it's, um, yes, it do smell as though it has more sugar than the actual fruit because it's, it's sweet, like I said. And yes, the it is a thin line from sugar and cleaning solution. I do get that. It's just one of those things of what is your sense of smell going to grab? You know, is it going to grab toward the um, candy notes being sweet? Or is it going to grab toward the cleaning solution notes? Because I think it's a thin line. It's a thin line between that cleaning solution and the candy note. I like it, though. I like it. I like it. Um, and like I said, I'm not sure why this is uh, online only. Because to me, this is backup worthy. But that's just my scent. And like I keep saying, I said I'm going to always say this in my videos. We all like what we like and we all smell things different. What I like, you might like. Or you might like what I like. I don't know. But I'm not a professional. I just review these candles and give my opinion of these candles that's all i'm doing you can either take it or you can leave it <laughs> but sorry yeah but that's just how i feel about this candle i'm a, i already have three of these candles in my collection but with this being online only you never know you never know it might not come back or it might come into the stores. Who knows? 
but from my understanding most of the online only candles are more or less like test candles you know um they're not sure if they're gonna do good in stores so they just farm online um to see how they do and, and if they sell really good then most of the time bath and body works might put them in the store i don't know but i'm getting my backup just in case this candle came out in 2016 i believe I believe it came out in 2016. I think this is the better packaging of this candle. I really, really love this, this purple, um, this purple packaging or jar. I love the fact that it's just simple. It's just simple label. I love that. And I love all of these matte jars. I really do. I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. Sugar. And when I smell it, I think of like sweet tart cotton candy. Back in, when I was young, my father had a cotton candy machine. And we used to always go and, and make cotton candy all day. Not all day, but every single day we would make cotton candy. And that's what this candle remind me of. You know, the sugar spinning around in the cotton candy machine. Uh, that's why I said this is a sweet, sugary candle i can't say nothing bad about this candle the throw is an eight the pull no issues no issues with the wick no sudden as you see sitting none at all around the jar just a clean burn this candle do burn a little hot and I think it has something to do with the jar, the fact that it's painted. Because I noticed all of my candles with this little coating on them, they all burn hot, all of them. So I think it has something to do with the paint on the jars. Um, but I don't have any issue. And of course, y'all know I live for a white wax. I just do. I don't really care for the color wax, even though it don't necessarily. I've never experienced any change in how and how the candle burns or smell. I haven't noticed anything like that. So, um, yeah. So, if you like sugary scents, sugary candle or sweet candle, this might be one for you. This might be one to try out. And remember, right now, Bath & Body Works is accepting returns. So, if you get this candle and you don't like it, just return it or give it away. Give you don't like it and you buy it and you want to get rid of it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Just send it on up. Send it on to me. Send them on to me. I will take it. <laughs> or you can easily go back to Bath and Body Works and they will um, exchange it out for something else. Or if you have your receipt, you will get your money back. Also, you have to remember Bath & Body Works do have the $250 per 90-day um, limit. So we got to remember that. I know there's not a whole lot of talk about that anymore, but yeah, they still keeping tabs. They still tracking. So always remember that. Um, as long as you have your receipt, I don't think, I don't think it counts. But if you don't have your receipt, yes, they're going to count your returns. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this candle. If you have this candle, what do you think? Do you have the older version of this candle? Leave that down at the bottom. Um, or are you going to get this candle? And if you do have it, what do you think this candle smells like? Do you think it smells like candy or cleaning solution? Leave that, at, leave that at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up, and leave me some comments at the bottom. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.